hate myself. Now the police are getting getting stronger. The majority bent quite well. I am better at sorting battles. On occasion I help my friends. Every once in a while we learn some. And the stories just never end. If you've ever been given reason, you're targeted for attack. If you've ever done so for damage, you can get your life back on track. If you've ever done him discourage, then you're cutting yourself so, some slack. Just remember it's not your season, and remember you must fight back. Fight back and just have lived to it. Stay down. So, I mean, that was basically, I remember my childhood school days for my relative life of these. I was dragging in with my lunch pail and my grandma was showing peace. She said, I remember she asked for a budget. I said, well, he's from my new school. Well, she patiently tried to teach me, as I said, on that high school stool. If you've never been given a reason, you were targeted for attack. If you ever done suffer damage, you can get your life back on track. If you ever done been discouraged, and you're cutting yourself from slack. Just remember it's not your season, but remember you must fight back, fight back.
the son of Zoph, and Ephrathah. He had two wives, the name of the one was Hannah, and the name of the other was Penina. And Penina had children, but Hannah had no children. And this man went up out of his city yearly to worship, and to sacrifice unto the Lord of hosts in Shiloh. And the two sons of Eli, Hophni, and Phinehas, the priests of the Lord, were there. And when the time was that Elkanah offered, he gave to Penina his wife, and to all her sons and her daughters portions. But unto Hannah he gave a worthy portion, for he loved Hannah. 
but the Lord has shut up her womb. And her adversary also provoked her sore, for to make her fret, because the Lord had shut up her womb. And as he did so year by year, as she went up to the house of the Lord, so she provoked her, therefore she wept and did not eat. Then said Elkanah, her husband to her, Hannah, why weepest thou? Why eatest thou not? Why is thy heart grieved? Am not I better to thee than ten sons? So Hannah rose up after they had eaten in Shiloh, and after they had drunk. Now Eli the priest sat upon a seat by a post of the temple of the Lord. She was in bitterness of her soul, rather, and she was in bitterness of soul, and prayed unto the Lord and wept sore. And she vowed a vow, and said, O Lord of hosts, if thou wilt indeed look on the affliction of thy handmaid, and remember me, and not forget thine handmaid, but will give unto thine handmaid a man-child, then I will give him unto the Lord all the days of his life, and there shall no razor come upon his head. And it came to pass, as she continued praying before the Lord, that Eli marked her mouth. Now, Hannah, she spoke in her heart, only her lips moved, but her voice was not heard. Therefore Eli thought she had been drunk. And Eli said unto her, How wilt thou be drunk? Put away thine wine from thee. And Hannah answered and said, No, my lord, I am a woman of a sorrowful spirit. I have drunk neither wine nor strong drink, but have poured out my soul before the Lord. Count not thine handmaid for a daughter of Belial, for out of the abundance of my complaining grief have I spoken hitherto. Then Eli answered and said, Go in peace, and the God of Israel grant thee thy petition that thou hast asked of him. And she said, Let thine handmaid find grace in thy sight. So the woman went her way and did eat, and her countenance was no more sad. And they rose up in the morning early and worshipped before the Lord and returned came to their house to Ramah, and Elkanah knew Hannah his wife, and the Lord remembered her. Wherefore it came to pass, when the time was come about after Hannah had conceived, rather, that she bare a son and called his name Samuel, saying, Because I have asked him of the Lord. And the man Elkanah and all his house went up to offer unto the Lord the yearly sacrifice and his vow. But Hannah went not, rather, but Hannah went not up, for she said unto her husband, I will not go up until the child be weaned, and then I will bring him, that he may appear before the Lord and thereby forever. And Elkanah her husband said unto her, Do what seemeth thee good, tarry until thou have weaned him. Only the Lord establish his word. So the woman abode and gave her son suck until she weaned him. And when she had weaned him, she took him up with her with three bullocks and one ephah of flour rather, and a bottle of wine and brought him unto the house of the Lord in Shiloh. And the child was young. And they slew a bullock and brought the child to Eli. And she said, O my Lord, as thy soul liveth, my Lord, I am the woman that stood by thee here, praying unto the Lord. For this child I prayed, and the Lord had given me my petition, which I asked of him. Therefore also I have lent him to the Lord, as long as he liveth, he shall be lent to the Lord. And he worshipped the Lord there. Praise the Lord. I read you Samuel 1. May the Lord bless the ears, and especially the doers of his most holy word. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Challenge of life got tougher. So in honor of Grandma King, if you've never been given reason, you're targeted for a team. If you ever done suffer damage, you can get your life back on track. If you ever done been discouraged, and you're cutting yourself some slack. Oh,
always found my nail school. Well, she patiently tried to teach me as I fell on that class stool. If you've never been given reason, you're talking it for a tag. If you ever done suffer damage, you can get your life back on track. If you ever done been discouraged, and you're cutting yourself from slack. Just remember it's not your season, but remember you must fight back. Fight back. Fight back.
takes 10 days to return to spiritual power from masturbation. The first day, the second day, the third day, the fourth day, the fifth day, the sixth day, the seventh day, the eighth day, the ninth day, the tenth day. Now, I'm not going to really harp on the past, but I got to say this. Guys came at me foul, man. Guys came at me with gall. Lord, these guys came at me with with a sense of disintegrity. They didn't they didn't have any integrity at all. They just they just came straight forward like, "Yeah, you're weak. I'm strong. I'm a, I'm going to push you to the side." And guys like that, man, they they learn the coldest, harshest lessons because that's what their character calls for. And so if I had any responsibility, it would be to atone character. My responsibility is to ensure 